Miyamoto Musashi, born in 1584, is an icon of Japanese history. His name is synonymous with the way of the warrior, and his mastery of the sword is legendary. But Musashi was far more than a master swordsman. He was a philosopher, a strategist, a writer, and an artist. His teachings extended well beyond the combat techniques, transforming martial arts into a profound way of life. From his early years challenging and defeating some of the most formidable opponents of his time, Musashi's approach to combat was unorthodox and deeply rooted in philosophy. His famed two-sword technique was not just a method of fighting, but a manifestation of his understanding of balance, harmony, and duality. Musashi's most enduring legacy, however, lies in his writings, particularly the Book of Five Rings. This seminal work is not merely a manual for swordsmanship, but a treatise on strategy, philosophy, and human nature. Its principles have been applied in various fields such as business, politics, and personal development. The Void, one of the essential elements of Musashi's teachings, encapsulates his profound wisdom. It was not an abstract, detached concept, but a living principle that he integrated into every aspect of his life. Whether in a duel, in his artistry, or in his daily interactions, the Void was a lens through which Musashi viewed and understood the world. The concept of the Void is a central theme in Miyamoto Musashi's philosophy, especially within his seminal work, The Book of Five Rings. This enigmatic idea is one of the five rings or books Musashi uses to articulate his martial and life philosophy, the others being earth, water, fire, and wind. In Eastern thought, the void is often associated with emptiness, nothingness, or absence. But in Musashi's interpretation, it transcends mere lack or negation. The void represents an elevated state of consciousness, an understanding of the essence of all things, and a realization of the interconnectedness of life. In his writings, Musashi explains the void as a state where there is neither beginning nor end, neither form nor color, neither sound nor smell. It is beyond the ordinary perception, beyond words and concepts. It is, in essence, the ultimate reality, unbounded by the limitations of human understanding. For Musashi, the void was not an abstract concept, but a practical principle that he applied in his martial art. He described the void as a state where the mind is free from thoughts and attachments, fully present in the moment. In combat, this meant a state of total awareness and responsiveness, where actions were not hindered by doubt or hesitation. The void also symbolized an inner stillness and serenity that transcended the chaos and violence of the battlefield. Musashi's ability to access this state allowed him to see things clearly and act with precision, turning the seemingly mundane act of sword fighting into an art of profound depth and beauty. In a broader philosophical context, the void signifies a path to wisdom and enlightenment, a way to see beyond the superficialities and illusions of the world. It represents a holistic understanding of life, where dichotomies such as good and evil, right and wrong, self and others are transcended. Musashi's interpretation of the void reflects his broader worldview, deeply rooted in Zen Buddhism and other Eastern philosophical traditions. It is a timeless wisdom that resonates with those seeking to understand the nature of existence and to live in harmony with themselves and the world. By exploring the void, we embark on a journey into the very heart of Musashi's philosophy, a path that challenges us to look beyond the surface and to seek the profound truths that lie beneath. The concept of the void in Musashi's philosophy is not merely a strategic approach to warfare or a practical guide to daily living. It also holds profound spiritual dimensions, deeply intertwined with Zen Buddhism and existential awareness. The idea of the void has strong connections with Zen, emphasizing the transcendence of dualistic thinking and the realization of emptiness. In Zen, Emptiness is not a negation, but a profound realization of the interconnectedness and impermanence of all things. Musashi's understanding of the void reflects this Zen principle, where emptiness becomes a gateway to ultimate truth and enlightenment. Emptiness as form, form as emptiness. This paradoxical statement, rooted in Buddhist philosophy, echoes in Musashi's teachings. It recognizes that form and emptiness are not separate entities, but interdependent aspects of reality. By perceiving the form within the formless and the emptiness within form, one can attain a more profound understanding of existence. Existential Awareness in the Void The concept of the void goes beyond Eastern philosophy 
and resonates with existential thinking. It challenges us to confront the emptiness and meaninglessness that can underlie human existence. Rather than a cause for despair, this realization invites us to create our meaning, live authentically, and embrace the freedom that comes with accepting the void. A deepened connection to oneself. Embracing the void requires a letting go of superficial attachments and ego-driven pursuits. It calls for an inward journey, a deep introspection that leads to self-realization. By understanding and accepting the void within, one can achieve a greater alignment with one's true nature and inner wisdom. Unity with the universe. The void also symbolizes the interconnectedness of all things, a unifying principle that transcends individuality and separation. By recognizing and embracing the void, one can experience a sense of oneness with the universe, a harmonious connection that fosters compassion, empathy, and a more holistic view of life. Meditation and the Void Many meditation practices, particularly in Zen, focus on the cultivation of emptiness, stillness, and presence. These practices align with Musashi's teachings on the Void, providing practical pathways to access this profound state of consciousness and spiritual connection. The Void as a Path to Liberation Ultimately, the spiritual aspect of the Void is about liberation from delusion, from suffering, from the constraints of ego and material desire. It's a path towards enlightenment, where the dualities of self and other, life and death, pleasure and pain, dissolve into the unbounded expanse of pure being. The spiritual dimension of the void offers a rich tapestry of insights and experiences that transcend the physical realm. It beckons us to explore the deepest layers of our existence, to question our perceptions, and to embark on a transformative journey towards wisdom enlightenment, and a profound connection with the cosmos. It's a timeless wisdom, as relevant today as it was in Musashi's time, and a guide to living with greater depth, authenticity, and spiritual fulfillment. Miyamoto Musashi's approach to swordsmanship was a unique synthesis of technique, strategy, and philosophy. The concept of the void played a vital role in shaping his combat style and guiding his actions on the battlefield emptiness, and fluidity. Musashi's understanding of the void emphasized the absence of rigidity, allowing for fluidity and adaptability. This principle was reflected in his fighting style, characterized by flexible movements and the ability to adapt to an opponent's actions. Musashi did not adhere to a single fixed stance or method, but remained open and receptive, ready to change and flow as the situation demanded. Formlessness and unpredictability, the void also represented a formless state, free from predefined shapes or patterns. Musashi cultivated this quality in his fighting, making his movements unpredictable and his strategies elusive. He would often use unconventional techniques and employ unexpected angles of attack, keeping his opponents off balance and unable to anticipate his next move. The mind of no mind, Musashi's embodiment of the void extended to his mental state, where he aimed to achieve a mind free from attachments and distractions. This mind of no mind, Mushin, allowed him to be fully present in the moment, undisturbed by fear, doubt, or ego. This mental clarity gave him the ability to see things as they were and to respond with precision and immediacy. Harmony with the environment. The void also implied a connection with the environment, recognizing the interdependence of all things. Musashi was known for his ability to use the terrain, weather, and other natural elements to his advantage, aligning himself with the natural flow of things. His keen awareness of his surroundings enabled him to turn seemingly insignificant details into strategic assets. The way of the sword as a path to enlightenment. For Musashi, the practice of the sword was not merely a means to victory in battle, but a path to personal growth and spiritual realization. Through the disciplined pursuit of mastery, embodying the principles of the void, he sought to transcend the limitations of the self and to attain a profound understanding of life and existence. Musashi's integration of the void into his way of the warrior was a masterful demonstration of how philosophical insights can be translated into practical wisdom. It was this fusion of thought and action, this harmony of mind and body, that made Musashi not only an extraordinary swordsman, but a timeless symbol of the warrior's path. The Void in Everyday Life 
while Miyamoto Musashi's concept of the void is deeply rooted in the context of martial arts and samurai philosophy, its principles transcend the battlefield and offer profound insights for contemporary life and personal growth. Here's how the concept of the void can be applied to various aspects of daily living. Embracing fluidity and adaptability. Just as Musashi emphasized flexibility in his combat style, we can learn to be more adaptable and responsive to life's ever-changing circumstances. By letting go of rigid expectations and remaining open to new possibilities, we can navigate challenges with greater ease and creativity. Cultivating a mind of no mind. Achieving a state of mental clarity, free from distractions and preoccupations, allows us to be more present and attentive in our daily interactions. Practices such as mindfulness and meditation can help us cultivate this mind of no mind, enhancing our focus, decision-making, and overall well-being. Finding clarity and simplicity. The void encourages us to strip away unnecessary complexities and return to the essence of things. By simplifying our lives and focusing on what truly matters, we can find greater clarity and purpose. Embracing uncertainty and the unknown. Rather than fearing uncertainty, we can learn to see it as a space filled with potential and opportunity. Embracing the unknown allows us to take risks, explore new paths, and discover untapped resources within ourselves. Building resilience through detachment, learning to detach from outcomes and external validation helps us build resilience and inner strength. By focusing on the process and our intrinsic values, we become less susceptible to external pressures and more aligned with our authentic selves. Creating harmony with others and the environment. Recognizing our interconnectedness with others and the world around us fosters a sense of harmony and compassion. Whether in relationships or our broader community, we can apply the principles of the void to create more meaningful connections and positive impact. Personal growth and spiritual exploration. Just as Musashi saw the way of the sword as a path to enlightenment, we can view our personal pursuits as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. By embracing the principles of the void, we embark on a journey towards deeper understanding, fulfillment, and realization of our potential. The concept of the void, as envisioned by Musashi, is not an abstract or remote idea, but a practical philosophy that can guide our daily lives. By integrating these principles into our thinking and actions, we unlock a rich source of wisdom, empowering us to live with greater clarity, adaptability, and authenticity. The exploration of Miyamoto Musashi's philosophy, and particularly his concept of the void, reveals a multifaceted and profound wisdom that transcends martial arts and reaches into the realms of spirituality, personal growth, and universal truth. It offers us practical guidance and profound insights, challenging us to look beyond the superficial and embrace the mysteries and possibilities that lie within the emptiness. Whether as a warrior on the battlefield or a seeker on the path of life, the void serves as a compass, guiding us towards mastery, enlightenment, and a deeper connection with ourselves and the world around us. It's a call to courage, authenticity, and boundless exploration, inviting us to step into the void and discover the boundless potential that lies within.